Hi, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be talking about our kitchen counter. Well, actually, we won't be talking, we'll be doing more, but I have to fix it. So we've had this since May. N nine months, oh shit. We've lived in here for nine months. So we had to do everything on a budget because we had to move in very fast and kitchen con counter, <laughs> such a hard word. Kitchen counter was one of the things that was uh, made pretty cheaply. Um, so I have to fix it now. It has a lot of cuts and bruises and burns and I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty beat up. As you can see, this is a burn from my uh, watch, Samsung watch charger. So this was here, and it was plugged in over the night, and um, it got on caught on fire. So I had to buy a new one, but be careful with these things. Unplug them. So as you can see, it's pretty bad. It's missing a part. And then this here won't come off because we were doing um, this <laughs> installation for winter. So, like, it's a lot of little things and it bothers me. And anytime I want to take a photo, I have to Photoshop out all the cuts. And it's just driving me crazy. I'll show you. So I'll take a photo of this. I'll place it here. So this is what it looks like. And now the edited version. And um, yeah, I have to do something about it. So I bought an adhesive shelf liner. So the white top we have on now, it's the same thing. It's from a dollar store. It cost $1.25 per roll. And it lasts us for nine months. So it's like a good deal if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I think um, we put it to good use and now it's time to have a new one. So this is what we'll be doing today. So our, our counter is made out of the plywood. We used plywood for our um, floors and then whatever was left, we used it to build stuff. So the counter is made from plywood and the drawer and everything. So I will take the white adhesive off, hopefully clean up the part and then put the new one on. So wish me luck. So I took off the yellow part. This is what our uh, counter looks underneath, but it's not protected. So if we leave it like this, it'll get dirty AF. <laughs> and um, this part right here, I had to take it off because we had the Velcro um, parts for this, but I'll just get new ones. We like to place this here so it doesn't move around. Um, yeah, so I decided to leave this white part on as an extra protection. And um, I don't know about this part yet. It's disgusting. So I picked marble this time. I figured we wouldn't be able to see as many spots and cuts with the marble um, than just on a white uh, countertop, so we'll see. 
but I guess we get quite a lot of from one roll. Let's do this. Okay, one down. I really like it. Okay, two more to go. This was the easy part. So now we have to this part and then around here. So now it slowly gets complicated. I love it. So keep in mind that this is fixing a counter on a budget and that I don't really mind the, I don't mind this line. I don't really care about it. What I like is this part. There's no cuts and um, no burns. Yay! My counter is finished. It looks awesome. I love it. When I decided to do this, I didn't realize that this will happen. And now, now it bothers me so much. And I threw away the nets because they were like stretched. They were stretched out too much. And I don't want to put more holes in here if i put it through the same ones it won't hold as good as it did before um but i don't want to put new holes and yeah so now i have to figure something about this which is an unplanned thing but Yay, we're renovating the kitchen, I guess. Not just the counter, the whole kitchen. So it is now a couple hours later and I've decided what to do. So I found these self-adhesive tiles in the dollar store and I also got these baskets to put, I'll show you. Okay, so the baskets will go down here and these will go up here. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it turns out how I imagined it. So let's go to work. So, what do we think? I really like it. It's not as shiny in person. Wait, maybe from this side. I think it looks great. It goes well with the bedding. But um, no, I really do like it. And now we'll put the baskets. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. This will look good. Yay! Okay, this is what we're doing. And then I'm using these to screw them to the counter so they'll stay in place. Okay. I know you're supposed to use a hammer, but Gaspard took it to work 
and I don't want to wait for him. So, works just as great. We did it! Yay! So, da dum da dum. I'm so happy and excited, but let's finish the work. So, first we have to tape this one. Um, this is our, um, whatever this is, <laughs> for our kitchen appliances and phone charging and everything. So we use Velcro in the bottom, so it stays in place, but because I ripped out like off all the velcro from before I'm using a new one so let's just glue it back on so we always have it here in the corner okay so he'll be waiting here and then this is our Vibasto heater Okay, everything is now put away. I really love it. And um, it doesn't seem to be like moving around, but we'll see after I drive for the first time. I didn't drive yet. I think it should hold. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked it. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully, the tile stays on for a long time but I know for sure that I'll have to change the counter sticker um, in another eight months I guess um, so we'll try to be more careful this time around but uh, what can you do okay so thank you so much see you in the next video bye